Hello, my name's James, and I just decided to make a video blog of me and my journey while I'm working out um, and trying to monitor my intake a little bit better. I just started again today, uh, the 18th, it's a Monday, January 18th to be exact, in 2016. I have been active and inactive off and on several weeks at a time uh, for the last like year basically. I've not been inactive for like months on end but I have been active like heavily for a week or two going to the gym two hours a day for like five days a week or more sometimes six days a week and then I'd take like two off days or something and then some kind of special event would come up and I end up not going and then once all that's over the normal thing would be go back to the gym straight back you know excuses are over time to hit the gym but I end up at that point being too lazy or unmotivated and having other reasons or I worked 10 days in a row, I don't want to go today. And it becomes like a week or two where I don't go for a week or two. So that kind of leads me up to this point in 2016. I just stepped on the scale. Um, I'm at 206 right now. And I usually weigh myself in the morning, which is actually the afternoon for most people. So about 3 p.m. when I wake up. Because after you sleep, um, you usually get your most accurate weights, in my opinion, first thing in the morning. Um, so that's when I usually do that. I mean, it's kind of when I'm most dehydrated. I haven't eaten because I've been asleep, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that weight isn't completely accurate for to the time, but it's a rough starting point for this first video blog. Um, basically, I don't have a solid plan for my nutrition or intake yet. I have, up to this point, just been eating what I like to say healthier options, but that also includes the off days where I randomly throw in a cheeseburger with bacon or I eat two sandwiches that are probably five to eight hundred calories each in one meal. So it's pretty bad at some points, but oddly enough, I've still been keeping the weight off. When I first started working out again after a long break from when I had these two surgeries on my arms here, you can see them. Yeah, they're pretty gruesome, right? Anyway, I had two surgeries that lasted three months worth of recovery, and then after that I couldn't even work out for like another month. Um, but after I, all of that was said and done, I was at 220 pounds, which was the largest weight that I've been at since I, I think ever. <laughs> so, in any case, this is getting a little bit longer than I thought it would be, but... I got a lot to talk about. It's the first one. It's not just a check-in. It's the, you know, the launch. Yeah, gotta go all in on the launch. <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, 220 is where I started at. I was around October. I kind of started working out off and on since then, and I've been working on my diet, better options, less soda, blah, blah, blah. I basically completely cut out soda, by the way. I drink soda only when I go out, basically, to go out to meals, go out, you know, wherever. Um, I pretty much exclusively drink water. I think sometimes I have, like, milk or coffee. And when I have coffee, it's like, could I have a little bit of coffee with my sugar? You know what I mean? It's pretty sweet. I have a slight addiction at work to sweet teas, which aren't as bad as soda, and it's actually sugar in it. It's not high fructose corn syrup. But it's still calorie intake through liquids, which is really easy to overdo. So I think I'm going to try and cut out even those sweet teas. 
maybe even drop a packet or two of sugar in my coffee, but I don't know. I don't think I could drink coffee without it being sweet. Like, I really don't like the taste of coffee, to be honest. Sorry, Oregon. Anyway, um, so that's kind of where my intake is. I've been eating a little bit healthier, but I don't have a set plan, which I might start. I really should start having, like, breakfast right when I wake up so I boost my metabolism as soon as I'm awake. Um, I got a bunch of vegetables I'm about to go chop up and I'm going to mix them together in a bowl in a Tupperware container in my fridge. And basically the idea is I just got a a bunch of eggs and I'm going to scramble up the eggs and throw a bunch of veggies in in the morning. And voila, I have some kind of like egg veggie mixture, which should be relatively healthy for a first meal of the day. The only problem is I need to make sure not to overdo the eggs because, or not overdo the eggs, but overdo the amount of eggs because in the past, uh, let's just say I've eaten a- eight eggs to myself in one sitting with vegetables mixed in. Um, my biggest struggle with intake is definitely uh, controlling the calories. I, I tend to overeat because I love food. It's so good. Um, it's yeah, I don't know. I've I've always eaten pretty big portions, and my portion size is something that really has to change if I really want to take the intake part of my nutrition seriously. As far as the working out goes, I don't need to go two hours a day, five days a week. That's an absurd amount of time for working out, but I mean, that's what Ryan does, and Ryan, man, he is physically my idol. Like, I don't necessarily want to be as ripped and buff and huge as he is, because he's pretty huge. But I want to get down to a lean mass where I definitely have muscle definition, and I want to get rid of my gut and all this little face flab that I got going on. Um, I mean, I just don't like where I am at, and I'm not saying that like it's a bad place necessarily, even though it is. <laughs> but uh I definitely want to work on trimming up. So I am trying to push the exercise portion of the intake and output um balance a little bit. Um although I could probably get away with only half an hour workout a day, which should work. I mean, if I'm if I'm doing really well with the intake, but my problem is the intake, and honestly, the intake I think is honestly more important when you're trying to lose weight. The portion size is huge. Um, back when I lost 37 pounds in one in like 14 months, I think 14 months I lost 37 pounds. Um, when I first started working at Regent Court Memory Care. And that was an accomplishment, man. I think I went from 202 down to, like, I don't even know, 170-something. I was living with Ryan. I was always going to the gym. And when I didn't want to go to the gym, he'd literally flip my bed to get me up. (laughs) Man, those are the good old days. Not, but kind of, yeah. I mean, the motivation was nice. Or the forced motivation, I should say. Um, I tend to be a little bit more motivated nowadays because my little brother is really into going to the gym. I, I seriously think he's going to be like a ripped little fucker by the age of, I don't know, his junior year. So two years down the road, if he keeps going the way he's going, he's he's going to get pit- pretty ripped at his age. And he's active. He just, uh, yeah, he just needs to stick with it. I hope he does. I really do. I wish that when I was his age, I had started and I never stopped. Because, man, I would be, like, in such good shape right now. Um, I mean, yeah. When Ryan first started working out seriously, I was working out with him off and on. And I've always been the off and on guy, and he's been the with it guy. And, man, look where he is now compared to me. I mean, there's an obvious difference who stayed... Uh, committed to the cause, so to speak. Anyway, this is dragging on like almost 10 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. But that's kind of a baseline, 206 weight at the moment. You kind of see how my face looks. 
and I, I might do some like body shots or something, but I don't really feel comfortable with myself enough to post body pics until I can have some serious results, and then it'll be like, Psh, I used to be fat, now look at me, you know, but right now it's just going to do the video blog, and I'll stop rambling. Thank you for joining me on my first vlog, and I plan to do this, I don't know, maybe I should do it daily, but I should probably just do like weekly check-ins. That would be a little bit more doable, and a little bit more, um, I don't know, a little bit less like, hey, you're doing too many, they all sound the same, you know, and it, it might be more noticeable for the differences in my, like, facial appearance or whatever. Anyway, so my goal for this week, and this was my New Year's resolution, to set small goals that I can achieve um, so that I actually move forward with my progress. So my goal for this week until next Monday or Tuesday, whichever, is to go to the gym today, tomorrow, uh... I'm gonna take Thursday off because I'm going to his basketball game, basketball game and stuff. Probably go Friday and Saturday, which I'll have to go after work. Uh, I'll go Sunday as well. Monday I'll take off, and that'll lead me back to where I am now. So that's my gym schedule for the week. I'm gonna stick to it. Because I already put it on the vlog. And uh, hopefully by the next time I post one of these, I will have a little bit more detailed plan for my intake. Or at least results to refer to. Okay, we're at 12 minutes, so bye. Oh, that's not how you hit stop. Stop!